Hi guys. Um, I'm about to take the Watson Scott test. I don't actually know anything about this except that it has apparently gone viral on TikTok and that it's apparently an actual game that you can purchase on Steam. Um, it's apparently scary, so we'll see. Um, I guess it's supposed to reveal your deepest fears. This test is designed to help you understand your deepest anxieties and the underlying causes of your darkest fears. For each question, select the response, which gives the best and most truthful answer, obviously. At the end of the examination, you will receive your analysis and a certificate of participation. A certificate of participation. <laughs> um, the slow speed of the text um, is kind of annoying to me, but I think that's supposed to create suspense of what's going to happen next. I do like this background um, sound effects. Please note that typically only 13% of participants are able to complete the test due to the onset of total body paralysis or unanticipated cardiac arrest resulting in death. Do you wish to continue? Well, considering this has gone viral, I'm assuming people have died from it. <laughs> so let's continue and see what happens. Firstly, some calibration questions. What color is the sky during the day? Blue. If I have one apple and you give me two apples, how many apples do I have? Three apples. Are you playing a game right now? <laughs> it's like a trick question because it's a test, but it's a game. So, yes? <laughs> Are you sure it's a game? Yes. <clears throat> mm. <laughs> Calibration complete. <laughs> Your test will begin now. Okay, I will give this the cool, creepy factor. <clears throat> it's raining outside and you're walking in bare feet. You take one step forward and crush a snail between your toes. You feel. That's why Guilty Jill is disgusted about me. Oh, this is where you get would be um honest okay <laughs> so it's either guilty or disgusted um because obviously i wouldn't intentionally crush the snail between my toes um but also i would feel disgusting to do that um if it was the shell then I'd be guilty, but if it was like the body and all squishy, it'd be disgusted. Um, it would be both. 
um, but it might be discussed at first because since I wouldn't be doing it intentionally, I would first notice the feeling and feel how it was disgusting. So, I'm gonna have to go with disgusted to be truthful. There's a knock at your door. You open it to find an old woman, tattered clothes. Oh, woman in tattered clothes. She says she's being chased and wants to hide inside your home. You. Oh, these are the, the great questions. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to seem like a horrible person. Tell her to seek help down the road. Offer to call the police while she waits outside. Quickly invite her inside. Say nothing and close the door in her face. Oh, goodness. Okay, here's the thing. I want to help people out, but I'm also paranoid. And in this scenario, am I living by myself? Am I alone? <laughs> um, I mean, it's an old woman in tattered clothes. So she seems less dangerous. But I've also been in the situation where I've had people try to tell me stories, and I know that it's not true. And so in this case, it's hard to know what I would do without actually seeing the woman and hearing her, the way that she says she's being chased. You know, does she show up to my door out of breath? Um, do her clothes look intentionally, intentionally tattered? This is hard to say. Um, I would obviously um, try to help. So I guess I'll go with call the police while she waits outside because I don't really want to let someone into my house. <laughs> um, especially since I don't have like any form of um, protection, um, like a weapon or something. Um, but I obviously would not just shut the door in her face. at a farm you make eye talk you make eye contact with a cow in the field the farmer says its name is Samuel it's dinner time and the farmer serves you a plate of rib eye steak you thank the farmer for the meal say nothing step the farmer with your knife politely request a vegan option um Okay, well, I'd obviously politely request a vegan option because I'm now on, like, an actual, trying to be 100% vegetarian, but why would you stab the farmer with your knife? <laughs> like, just because they introduced you to a cow and then gave you beef? I don't get it. I will now show you an image. Please study it. The image will not move. <laughs> you say it won't move, but will it? Okay. Uh-huh. Hmm. make you feel oh man motivated <laughs> afraid sad violent nothing I guess afraid but it wasn't quite that bad I would say unsettled but that's not an option so we're gonna go with afraid believe in ghosts. Definitely. Sorry if you can hear
hear my cat in the background. Have you ever seen a ghost? That's a good question. Um, I'm gonna go with no. Um, well, I may or may not have seen the ghost of my old cat. So maybe I'll go, I'm gonna go with unsure. I can't remember if that was a dream or real. Thinking about the room you're in right now. Has anyone ever died here? <laughs> this, not yet, I'm sure. This is an apartment, so I can't know for sure. <laughs> hmm. Very atypical results. <laughs> These indicate how strongly you agree or disagree with the following statements. What are you doing? It's just like rolling around in the background. <laughs> okay. When I'm staring at a screen, I completely forget about my surroundings. Um disagree I often think about the ghosts inside my house <laughs> um <laughs> well there were ghosts at my mom's house and I thought about those ghosts but I don't think there's any ghosts here now but if there were, then I'd think about them, so I guess I'll go with agree. <laughs> Other people would say that I'm a liar. Strongly disagree. I often look over my shoulder to check if someone is standing behind me. watching my screen because <laughs> they want you to look behind you right now I already looked behind me oh my god <laughs> sure agree <laughs> There is an unexpected guest in my house. The old woman. <laughs> I mean, Boggs would be an unwanted guest. <laughs> unexpected guest. Um, disagree? <laughs> Nobody would know if I went missing. I disagree if people at work would know and my sister and my mom poetry is the most intelligent form of artist artistic expression oh, I don't like questions like this like you know painting and fiction is just as intelligent but I do think poetry can be more intelligent than some fiction stories I'll just say agree correct C correct I designed a new algorithm for generating insightful poetry Here's one I just wrote.
<laughs> Roses are red. Silent as a mouse. Your door is unlocked. I'm inside your house. Okay, my door actually is unlocked, but my sister's in the living room, and she knows someone came in the door. <laughs> Congratulations. Only 41% of participants typically reached this point in the examination. <laughs> From now on, the questions will be much more intense. Do you wish to continue? <laughs> yes. <laughs> How far away is the closest police station? I don't know. <laughs> um, probably more than a 15 minute walk. There's a fire station 15 minutes away. noise I don't like it <laughs> how well do you know your neighbors I don't know my neighbors at all we are acquaintances my acquaintances except my one downstairs neighbor who I talk to a lot oh this is the noise is we're <laughs> to the average adult how fast can you Run. <laughs> it's a tiny sprint. I'd say average. If it's for long distance, it's definitely slower. Oh my god, these noises. Don't like it. When faced with conflict, your preferred method of resolution is... Actively avoid it. <laughs> Negotiation. Use violence. God. I don't like the way this is written though because. So I actively avoid it. Like I avoid conflict, but I'll avoid conflict through negotiation. So I guess I'm gonna say negotiation because of. Void it would mean like <laughs> like if I know that my sister is upset with me, I'm not going to just go into the other room and completely ignore her. But I would try to do whatever to defuse that situation. I feel like that's not the best example. But that's what I mean. I wouldn't like just completely avoid the situation, but I'm like, might avoid saying something that I know would cause conflict. <clears throat> You're alone in a pod at the top of a ferris wheel, 400 feet in the air, when it suddenly stops. A fire has broken out below. The operator speaks over the intercom. Everyone is going to die a slow and painful death. But if you jump, I will catch you. <laughs> you contemplate your existence before eventually being consumed slowly in golden flames. Pop off and fly away, grow weeds. Bane your head against the wall as hard as you can until you become unconscious, leading to death from massive blood loss and blunt force trauma. Jump off and be caught. <laughs> okay, well I definitely would not bane my head against the wall because I wouldn't have the nerve to do that. Um, I can see it would take a lot of um, willpower to jump. But I probably would because, you know what, I probably wouldn't really trust that the guy's going to catch me. But at least it gives you a chance. Whereas if you stay, you're going to die, definitely. Um, and if you do fall, um, it's probably going to be a quicker death. Um, less painless. 
Now this is funny though. I like this choice because this is like, uh, you know, manifestation, like manifesting wings. Uh, I can't, I'm, I'm going to go with this <laughs> because if I jumped off, I'd probably be like, okay, maybe I can fly or maybe I'll be caught or else I'll just die quicker. <laughs> show you an image. Please study it. The image will not speak. <laughs> I assumed it, it isn't. It's a video. I mean an image, not a video. Oh god. <laughs> How did that image make you feel? Peaceful. Terrified, nervous, violent. Oh, here we go. Nervous. Okay. Terrified. I'll ask this one more time. <laughs> Are you playing a game right now? Yes. Do you know that I'm a good person? No. Are you lying to me right now? Why would I be lying? Like, I don't know you. Why would I know if you're a good person or not? So no, I'm not lying. Lying is forbidden. Please select any of the following sports that you have played. Wrestling, Jutsu, Mixed Arts, Taekwondo, none of the above. Please select any of the following industries that you have occupational experience with. Law enforcement, private security detail, secret service military? None. Oh, what are you going to do to me now? <laughs> How many fingers am I holding up? Oh god. I know, they want you to look anyways. Look, there's nothing there except... I can't, it's not even there anymore. <laughs> if you could murder a person of your choosing and get away with it, would you do it? Only if the person was a family member. Um, no. No, I wouldn't. Your recent answers indicate you are exhibiting a, flight, a fight or flight response and may be at risk of an acute stress reaction. <laughs> I'll need you to breathe slowly and calm down. Press continue when you are calm. Okay, <laughs> only when you are calm. Okay, I am calm, but like, I do kind of have a weird sensation in my chest a little bit. <laughs> okay. Please take a moment. To look away from your monitor and observe the nearest exit. Make sure you could run if something were to happen. Do this now. Oh my god. Yeah, 
Yes, I did. Do you think I can tell when you look away from your screen? Yes, 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 maybe. <laughs> Do you feel safe in your house right now? <laughs> they don't even let you say yes. <laughs> oh my god. Honestly though, if I was playing this by myself in the dark house, I wouldn't. <laughs> but my sister saw me. Are you having fun? Yes, yes, I'm sure. I mean, I'm laughing. So, yes, but I'm also like, I'm still in that uncertain place. Okay, I'm sure. I know when you're lying to me. Just ignore any external stimulus. Concentrate only on this screen. There are no unexpected guests in your house. There are no unusual sounds coming from inside your house. <laughs> Do not take your eyes off the screen. Do you understand? It's weird that this is what makes me the most nervous, is that I'm gonna look away from the screen. <laughs> oh god. What's gonna happen? Liar. Do you understand? Don't move or you may die. Music can help us all relax. Singing is relaxing. What do you do when I choose up and down the city road? In and out the eagle, that's the way the money goes. Pop goes the weasel, pop people. Oh my god. Oh god. Oh my god. No. Oh. Results are being processed. <laughs> I survived the Watson Scott test. <laughs> Turn, oh my god! minutes and 35 seconds my analysis will fight back if some of the strongly provoked as a firm handshake respectful of elders <laughs> when an old woman comes to my door i forgot to call the police while she waits outside i'm most afraid of being beat to death with a hammer okay that's actually weird when I was in, was this elementary school or middle school? I can't remember. I had a dream that some guy broke into our house and was going to beat me to death with a baseball bat, not a hammer. It's fear though. The main test is complete. There is a bonus test available. Would you like to take it? <laughs> okay, well, I'm making a video, so I guess I have to. <laughs> yes. Very well. <laughs> the second test is designed to challenge your fear tolerance. Incorrect answers will be punished. Ignorance will be punished. Oh no. Oh no. I don't like this. <laughs> I must also admit that I have not run this test before. There may be unexpected malfunctions. Your insights will be used in the development of future tests. Oh 
complete this test as quickly as possible for accurate results. But do not let that clock concern you. It is nothing to be concerned about. Oh, sure. Okay. Go to the examination. You will have a better sense of purpose and a stronger resolve. I want you to be stronger. Do you want to be stronger? Um, sure. <laughs> Let's begin. How many bones are there in a newborn baby that I haven't met yet. Um, I don't remember. Incorrect. Okay, well. Zero, one, one, two. What's next? Two. <laughs> Incorrect. <laughs> How many times per year does the average human heart beat if it is not stopped? Oh my god! <laughs> One of the most famous lion snakes in Australia, the death adder, and the robber! Oh my god! <laughs> Injecting a highly deadly neurotoxin, how long does the woman have to live? Oh, clue. Incorrect. Yes, okay, so you're just gonna give me all the jump scares. I mean, it's tied to a chair. Against his will. <laughs> and the funnel is placed inside his mouth, pulverized. Pig intestines are poured in. How much value does the man's stomach hold before it ruptures? I don't know the metric system. <laughs> Correct. Oh, thank God. A fear of butterflies is called. Um. Cyberphobia? Incorrect. I don't know. <coughs> a book with no arms is facing west. He walks forward for 60 seconds, turns 90 degrees. I'm running at him, so he turns 180 degrees and begins to run. Which way is he facing? Yes, that would be. I am not lying. Are you sure? <clears throat> oh my god. <sighs> yeah, well, all of them is I will scare you, so. Is a positive electrode called? <coughs> oh gosh, I don't know. Cathode? Okay, I think it was anthode or whatever. <coughs> Which is the best video game released in 2014? Oh, okay, I know it's not Friday Night Fr said Freddy's because someone said review said, How do you think that's not it? <coughs> oh god, okay, I'm gonna say that. Oh look, correct. I would have said five nine, so Freddy's. <laughs> What's your favorite thing to do? Contemplate human condition. Hey, then deer blood. What the hell? Cool. The test is now complete. Oh, thank you. And now I get more jump scares, I'm sure. <clears throat> your results are very helpful. Your participation was adequate. There are no more tests. We are done here for now. Goodbye. Oh, okay. Okay. I really thought I was going to get more jump scare, but it just stopped, so. Yay! So...
that was a bit scarier than I thought it was going to be, more just because I'm not good with jump scares. <laughs> um, I thought there'd be more creepy imagery, so I'm happy that there weren't. Um, I don't think that it was accurate. I don't think that I'm the most afraid of being beaten to death with a hammer, specifically. <laughs> um, I may be more worried about just being kidnapped and yeah beaten to death but not specifically with that hammer but I've always thought my biggest fear is the unknown um just because don't know what's gonna like is lurking in the shadows lurking beneath you in the water that sort of thing um just the uncertainty of getting attacked or not um but yeah, so that was the Watson scat test, and if you have taken it, let me know what your result was and if it was accurate for you or not, and if you haven't, feel free to check it out on Steam and let me know your result then. If you know of any other games um, or tests that you want me to take, let me know.